Well, good afternoon to you. I'm Brian Stuski here on the Rural Radio Network. Joining us this afternoon to talk about the Cattle on Feed Report is Livestock Analyst Kyle Bumstead. Kyle, good to see you. Let's talk about the numbers here. What we see this year, or excuse me, this month, December 1st, the numbers we're looking at. Yeah, let, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Next year starts next week. Uh, on feed, Cattle on Feed Report was just released. The average number of on feed that the uh, analysts were looking at was 102.2 came in at uh, 102.7, so right at the upper end of the range. Uh, last month's number was 101.7, so a little bit higher than last month, which uh, we kind of knew was going to happen. Placements, that was the uh, that was kind of the big one here. It was at 98.1%, which was the very top end of the range. The analysts are expecting 96.2. However, it was below last month, so I'm going to call this uh, somewhat friendly, but it's still going to hit that uh, February, March, April time frame out there. A little bit more cattle, a uh, little, little, few more cattle placements than we anticipated. Marketing, so I was a little bit disappointed in that one here. 92.6, uh, that was at the very low end as far as that goes. And we've uh, we, we've obviously seen spot reductions and some things like that. And uh, our pace has not been very good here the last few weeks. So marketing number 92.6 just tells me that we've got plenty of cattle around here short term. And uh, short term, we could just chop sideways here. I, I look for a little bit of a bearish reaction here to start uh, maybe on Monday, but uh, we are finding some decent support here on the dips. Now, we also did have a hogs and pigs report released. Um, all hogs uh, and pigs as of December 1st, uh, the average estimate was 99.5 and that came in at 100%. So I'm gonna call it right in line to slightly bearish. Kept for breeding, uh, the estimate was 98.8. And that came in at 96.7. And uh, as of the 1st of September, when we had the last uh, Hogs and Pigs report, uh, that was uh, that's down from the 98.8 that we had 1st of September. So it does show we are uh, seeing some breeding herd liquidation on the hog side of things. And kept for marketing's at 100.3%, which is kind of right in line with the last Hogs and Pigs report, but just above analyst estimates of 99.5%. Oh, okay, Kyle. Okay, Kyle. We have all this data. We're not going to be able to create anything till uh, what? Tuesday of next week at this point. That might be a good thing. Just give this thing an extra day here to kind of settle out here. Um, cattle have been building. Uh, uh, looks to me like they're trying to form a bottom, a base as far as that goes. Hogs, uh, I'm a little bit more bearish hogs longer term, but the cattle, I do think once we get work through these cattle up front here, which we are, we are working through these cattle here. We've seen some really good trade here. We saw 171 to 173 trade here today, 171 in Kansas, 173 here in Nebraska in certain places. And these cattle are fairly close to the knife. Last week, we were a few weeks out, but we are getting kind of close to the knife here from what I'm hearing so far. And that's going to be what we need here. Also, to see the box beef market pick up a little bit. So I'm looking for initial knee-jerk reaction here, maybe a freckle lower here on a Tuesday morning. And then uh, I, I kind of like to see that when you when you have these reports like this, I like to see a lower opening, then work higher, as opposed to start higher and then they've got all day or the rest of the week to sell it off. Now, keep in mind, folks, this is very thin volume holiday type trade. So we've only got four full days of trading to finish out the 2023 and then we're on to 2024. All right, Kyle, final word is yours before Christmas. What do you want to leave us with? Well, uh, don't don't lose sight of your risk management. I mean, uh, we could trade a range here in these uh, April cattle here from 160 to 180, and it looks like uh, maybe 185 be the upper end of the range. And I do look for us to chop sideways here through most of 2024. Market has put in a major high the way it looked here uh, in 2023. So I'm a little bit skeptical when people say we're going to go push on a new highs because the market's already known that. The market already knew that we're going to be running low on numbers. So the market's already going to have it placed in or priced in way before the uh, issues really arise. Kyle, thanks for the time. We appreciate it. Merry Christmas to you the family. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everybody.